right, let's go. Um, Taryn, we'll do a Taryn question now. Find the equation of the tangent. Yeah. So you now this isn't going to work out because I picked a cubic, so it's not going to work out. It's going to be two of them because, well, I'll get through that. Okay, what you guys want to do while I can pause on the video is you're going to find f prime of x. Okay, right now, are you ready? Now that I'm putting this question right now on the board because this is the one I wanted to put on your assignment, but I didn't because I put squared and squared instead of cubed and squared. So there's a cube with another number. So try it right now. You will be responsible for this tomorrow. Austin, don't look so sad. You go to Waterloo next year. They'll put math in your body. They'll just the math part will be flowing. Okay, so I want to hit pause and give you. If someone has a question, please be brave and ask. But I'm just going to ramble off here as quick as I can. Here we go. So m equals f of a plus h minus f of a all over h um, equals negative 2 a plus h cubed plus 4 a plus h plus 2 a cubed minus 4a, is that right? Someone confirm that for me? I think that looks good. Okay, now the cube. What, what's the Pascal's triangle version of the cube we're going to use? Go ahead. 1331. One, three, three, one. Now I'm going to cheat, and I'm going to call it 2662. Two. Why am I calling it 2662? Sorry, negative 2, negative 6, negative 6, negative 2. Yeah. Yep. Right on. So I'm just going to skip that line. Is that okay to do? So I'm going to call that negative 2 a cubed minus 6 a squared h minus 6 a h squared minus 2 h cubed. Now we'll put it in the board. Um, plus 4 a plus 4 h plus 2 a cubed. Now, again, I've done so many of these on the weekend, just like you guys did. I did the whole assignment. Okay, so I've done a million of these ones, so see if you can watch it quickly. Yeah. Um, is this a derivative question? I, well, I said, it's, I said the derivative or slope, it doesn't really matter. We're looking for slope here because we're dealing with the tangent. Sorry? But you gave us the slope. No, well, I said when's the slope is the, okay. It, it, the question says, when, find the equation of the tangent line. That has slope five. So we have to find, though know, we have to find the value of x and things like that. Though that's the problem. So we're what we're going to do is we're going to find the find this equation. Whoops. Okay. And then you're going to solve it so that you find the x value, and then sum it back into the original equation. Okay. So two a cubed and two a cubed cancel. Four a and four a cancel. And you're left with negative six a squared h, negative 6, h squared, negative 2, h cubed, plus 4, h all over h. So your slope is equal to negative 6, a squared, negative 6, a h, minus 2, h squared, plus 4. Okay, now here we go. I want to just talk about one thing before I continue. Did everyone get something close to that? Okay. We're dealing with instantaneous rate of change. So what do we know for instantaneous rate of change? Yeah, yeah. H is zero because it's instantaneous rate of change. So I'm going to say then 
h equals zero. So my slope or f prime of x, either one, negative six a squared plus four. Did everyone get that? Or f prime of x equals negative six x squared plus four? Everyone got that? You got that? X. I don't get it. That's okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to do that up here. So what do you want to do? You want to find So what we want to do here is we want to find Oh, is it not going to work? No. Uh, you guys. This is why I changed the one down. That changes, I know. What's going to change to three? Is that OK? I'll change that to three. Okay, so yeah, so what I have to do is I have to solve this over. So I'm going to solve this equation 3 equals negative 6 a squared plus 4. Okay, so I, like I said, I just picked this one out of my head probably because um, Bailey asked for it, so that's why. So then this is going to be negative 1 equals negative 6 a squared. Uh, 1 6 equals a squared. So x or a equals plus or minus the square root of 1 6. Okay, so this is going to be your x value. Okay, so m is going to be 3 when a is equal to or when x is equal to plus or minus root of 1 over 6. Yeah. For the choice system, I used the rational zero test and I was like, um, because like the two ends were in three and one, I yeah. just did factors of three and one. Yeah, that's and fine. Yeah. Just one. So yeah, and it works out because the sign one works out a lot nicer than this. Okay. But if I didn't do this and I did rational zero. Yeah, as long as you got it to work out, then okay. Yeah. I need extra. That's okay. So the difference is instead of a, you'll have just x is equal to this. That'll be the only difference. No, that'll be fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I Okay, so now what you're going to do then is we want, we want the equation of the tangent to the line that has that. So what we have to find then is we're going to have two options here. Uh, we're going to say x is equal to root of 1 over 6 and x is equal to negative root of 1 over 6. y is going to be f of root of 1 over 6, which is going to be a mess. I'm going to pick on Luke's calculator here. We'll the answer. Okay, so you're going to sub those numbers in. On your test, the numbers will work out nicely to one or two or three or four. They will not be messy like this. Okay, because it's not it's not healthy for anybody to, to spend energy and effort on messy things like this. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to get a value for both of those. And then it's going to be y equals mx plus b. Okay, so whatever your y value is, your m is going to be 3, you said. Your x is root of 1 over 6. And those are your, those would be what they have to be. I'm not going to work that out because y is going to be nasty. I don't get y because it's going to be nasty. No, we're not going to be there. That's okay. Um, okay, what I wanted you guys to get out of this one was, number one was being able to comfortably do our cubic, okay, with the coefficient. We'll hope you were comfortable with that. Secondly, the idea was solving for slope. So I gave you the slope. So you just sub it in there to solve. Okay, you get the points that it works out to be, and then sub it in there and y equals mx plus b. Is there anything urgent you guys want to go through? Now, is there anything else you guys want to go through that's on the assignment? Again, the assignment I've worked through is a very good review. So if you did your assignment, you basically covered everything um, that we've done. I hope that we've given you enough tools here to solve. Can we do an average rate of change question? Uh, 
Can I do an average one? Um, All right. For instantaneous, you just assume H as H0. zero. Because I, I heard some other things and it's like H no, equals zero. Zero, 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 001. No, no, no. Okay. All right, I'm going to correct this right now. Somebody said for instantaneous rate of change, H equals zero point zero 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 one. No, shame on you, whoever said that. Okay, H is zero. Okay, and remember that's what you do the algebra first. In advanced functions, H is point zero 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 one. But in calculus, we move to take the next step and move to zero. So I didn't mean the algebra. No, no, that's the answer. Um, Okay, this is a lousy question, but I'm not feeling inspired today. Okay, I, I would probably order like Tanner is trying to decide to buy a pool. This is a poor question, okay? All I'm saying is what's the rate of change, the average rate of change, if you went from a radius of four meters to six? Generally, I, the way the calculus problems generally go is there's a hole in the bottom of the pool. The pool has some sort of weird, you know what I mean, like shape instead of just a cylinder. All right, so how does, what's the rate of change of I think that's what generally the calculus problems go. I'm not feeling inspired today, I apologize. I thought it'd be better with a full voice, but I'm not, I'm still the same less inspired person, so I apologize. Okay, so let's go through how to do this one in case we run low on time here. It says the volume of the pool is that. What do I need for this case? What am I given, what do I need? No, not all at once. Let's go. Since you have an equation, you need some. It would be A plus H. Yeah. So then uh, it would be like limit H e, uh, approach to zero, yeah. right? And then uh, you do A plus H. I'm just going to do this. Yeah. For right now. Now we're not doing A. Now what's my A value here and what's my H? Because this gets people confused. So I'm going to do pass. Something else. What's my starting value and what's my going up by? Yeah, go ahead. Starting value is four meters. Yeah. Very good. Can I leave that with you guys? I don't need to work it out. No comments? And then, okay. Okay. for the units, will we lose a lot of money saying units? No, if I don't, if I do like, it's not like, you know, if I were to do this, let's say in meters per second, or I do, but I'm not going to be in meters like that. Um, so this is going to be pi a plus h squared times 20 minus pi r oops pi a squared times 20 all over h so this is going to be 20 pi uh, a squared plus 2a h plus h squared minus 20 pi a squared all over h Twenty pi. This is going to cancel with this, so I'm left with forty pi h plus twenty pi h squared all over h. So I'm going to say my slope is equal to forty pi a times plus twenty pi h. And we still have an A equals 4, H equals 2. So that equals 160 pi plus 40 pi 
So my slope is 200 pi. I think that's the rate of change. If someone can just confirm that for me. Do you have a question or? Um, since we have values in H is not zero, couldn't we just sub values in instead of going through all the algebra? I'm sure you could. I'm sure you could. I just the expectation though is we'd be able to do this way. As long as you get the same answer to work out, then um, the problem is though, yeah, I guess since H isn't zero, we could sub it right away then, yeah. But I like algebra, so I'm gonna do that. Now, as long as you get a final answer to be in terms of pi though, right? Now please know who comes to find me when I say this. You have calculators of wonderful things. Do not tell me the answer to this one is 628.3949293. Okay, so I'm going to take off a mark. We'll leave it in fraction form, leave it in pi form. Um, I'm okay like that. If I say round to one decimal, then you round to one decimal. Okay, right? So just see what I tell you um, for that. But if I don't tell you, leave it in terms of pi. Yeah. And then you can give us A for instantaneous and then H. Yeah. So I probably did. Yeah. The question was for the two guys that wanted to skip doing that. Probably part B. Hey guys, please. Part B would say find the instantaneous way to change after four meters. So the idea is you need this equation for instantaneous way to change, right? So that's why I took it. Right? Okay, um, I'm going to, to not to let me get by so the world doesn't hear this. Probably next.